Hi guys, welcome back to Migratory Game. My name is Matt Lewis. So today we're going to work on uh, heel with Cooper. This will be the fourth week of training with him. So he's doing good with retrieving. I don't have any issues there. He'll run and get him. Sometimes he'll run around me, um, but we'll we'll tighten him up. It's just a matter of time. So today we're going to work on heel. I'm going to show you guys how I get a dog to heel. And uh, you just got to keep working with it. Some dogs are a little easier than other dogs. But the more you do it, the better your dog will be. So we'll just start off with them on a leash. Sit. Sit. Hey. Sit. 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 All right. So start out with them on a leash. And I like to choke up on the leash. What I mean by that is I like to get my hand close to the collar. That way the dog can't walk out in front of me very far. And we'll say heel. Come on. Heel. Ah, ah. See, he started sit. He started pulling instantly. So all I did was stop. Made the dog sit. We're going to try again. Heel. Sat. Sit. Sit. Quit. Heel. 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 Hey. Heel. Good. Heel. Good. If he gets out in front, I'll put my foot on his chest and I just push him back. I don't I don't kick him. I just stop him and let me catch up. Heel. Good. Good, come on. Good. Right now he's walking good. He's not. Well, he wasn't pulling. So we'll just walk around. Ah, ah. Heel. 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 Hey, sit. Heel. Come on. Heel. Good. Ah. Heel. Heel. Good. Good. Come on. Good. And we're out here. There ain't there ain't no distractions. It's just me and the dog. We're just working on on getting him to heel. Uh, it's better off to start. Heel. Sit. 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 Sit, Cooper. Sit. Good dog. Good dog. Uh, when you when you start working on uh, you know heel with your leash training, it's best to do it where there's there's no distractions. It's just you and the dog. There ain't no one else around, it's, and they they pay attention to you more. Um, you can't eliminate every distraction, but you want to make it a minimum. Very very little distractions. That way the dog will listen to you a lot better. And then you practice that. And then once your, your dog, you're confident in your dog and his healing abilities, then you'll go someplace where there, there's a little bit of distraction. And that that could be just having someone come over and walk around with you in the yard. Um, or uh, I think that's best. Just just start out with, with someone else, you know. It could be anybody, a friend, family member, just out there walking with you and the dog in the yard. Sit. And then you just work on that. Sit. You just work on that. You know, over time the dog will get better. But you gotta you gotta put the time in it if you want your dog to heal right and heal properly. And this will go into obedience. It also help with recall. Uh, that's how we get our dogs to heal. Yeah, you get frustrated with them. But just keep working on it. And once you go through a little healing session and, and uh, they're doing good, the reward you can throw a bumper. You know, give them a fun bumper. That, that's a good reward. Or you can give you can give them treats. I give dog treats. Uh, it, but that's it. Just keep working on it.